Send an Elijah, written by Sister Mandy Griffith, narrated by Sister Natalie Shaver. Picture this. You're a widow who is poor and afraid, preparing possibly the last meal for you and your only son, and entrusting your situation into God's hands. Nothing left except to wait for death to come speedily because there's no more hope for survival. As you head into town to gather sticks to prepare the fire for your final supper, a man approaches you and asks for a drink. Imposed upon, you still honor his request. He then adds to the menu a piece of bread. Really? Now? Feeling at wit's end, you explain to the man that he's barking up the wrong tree as you are down to your last handful of flour and smidgen of oil and you're about to prepare the very last meal for you and your son, and then it's all over. Surprisingly, the man says, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but make me thereof a little cake first, and bring it unto me. 1 Kings 17, 13 Essentially, feed me first, and then you and your son can eat. Say what? But then the request takes a miraculous turn. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel, The barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruse of oil fail. 1 Kings 17.14 Could it be? Could this man be speaking truth? Could the God of Israel have sent you a holy messenger to let you know that he has heard your prayer and he will save your life? It's worth a shot. You follow the prophet's instruction, and to your wonderment and delight, the barrel of meal is replenished, and the cruise of oil is refilled. Hallelujah! In life, we may be seeking an answer to a desperate situation, preparing for the worst, and praying for any solution that saves us from an ill fate. When you're scraping the bottle of the barrel, ask God to send an Elijah. In that miraculous moment, everything changes. What once was empty is now overflowing. What once was running dry is now running over. Oh, and just in case you need a show-stopping end to the story, your son falls ill, dies, and Elijah prays the boy back from the dead by the power of God. What a deal in exchange for a little cake and a sip of water. What is the Lord asking of us today? Can we heed the instruction of his servants today in exchange for a fuller life unto his glory? Can we trust that when we are obedient in the service of others, he will supply all our needs too? And the woman said to Elijah, Now by this I know that thou art a man of God, and that the word of the Lord in thy mouth is truth. 1 Kings 17, 24